Wow, I love that demo and excited to introduce the next one. QRegister, an app that removes the need for physical paper receipts upon transactions and instead encourages the use of QR codes for users to virtually keep track of all their receipts. QRegister was created with Firebase and Flutter. Welcome the creators, Alkum, Denis, Humeira, and Murat from Middle East Technical University in Turkey. Welcome back to QRegister, the register of the future. Our team consists of curious aspiring engineering students driven to save the planet and improve everyday life with technology. Did you know that the majority of people think that paper receipts are obsolete? According to our survey of hundreds of respondents, most of the users think that paper receipts are ineffective, outdated and hard to keep track of. Moreover, for paper receipt production, masses of trees are cut down, multitudes of water and oil is wasted, excessive amounts of carbon dioxide and solid waste is generated. Keep in mind that these data are for each year in the United States only. Imagine the vast amount of damage paper receipts are causing all around the world. Moreover, 93% of paper receipts are unrecyclable and composed of harmful chemicals which cause diseases including cancer. What if there is a simple solution by using only QR codes? To save our trees, our planet, our home. Introducing Q Register. Our screen is based on Raspberry Pi. It generates QR codes for the purchase according to the inventory files. These QR codes contain all the data in an encrypted form where we use the special hashing system to store data in one string. The QR code is then scanned on our mobile app developed with Flutter which enables us to build our application faster and create a beautiful UI UX design. Q Register automatically scans the QR code and asks for confirmation. After the scanning is complete, receipt details will be on the profile page. Listed by dates and labeled with supermarket icons for glancing through quickly, the swipe action archives receipts for easy access. Q Register continues functioning successfully in offline mode. We store the encrypted receipt data in the local storage and once you connect to the internet, we transfer it into Firebase. We upgrade it by integrating a barcode scanner, which scans items rapidly. We want Q Register to be effortlessly implementable globally, so as an alternative, cashiers can also connect a webcam to scan barcodes. In the future, we will use the camera to recognize the items without scanning barcodes. Lastly, we are honored to announce that Q Register was selected to be supported by our university. It is anticipated that our first register will be open in our college's merch store and meet users in the summer of 2021. Hi. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Team Q Register. It's good to see you all. We're all over the world right now. This is great. Um, hey, Sammy, do you want to introduce yourself? And I know that you have a couple of questions for the team. I do. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Sami. I look after Google's Global Accelerator and Experts programs. And I also look after our developer programs in Asia Pacific. Uh, and I'm based in Singapore. Uh, I was very interested in this startup. Actually, I founded a startup in this space about 10 years ago. And I have to say, I'm, I'm much more confident about the approach that you're taking, far more scalable with the QR codes. I do have a couple questions uh, for you. The first one uh, that I have is, um, who's your target market over the next two to three years after you complete this pilot uh, on your campus? Uh, and how large is that market? And, and just a, a quick follow-up to that is, uh, what type of technical features do you see yourselves uh, growing into or expanding to be able to get more retailers onto your platform? Uh, so I can take that question. Our aim with Q Register in the beginning was to actually make it widely available so that even a small establishment like a kiosk around your street corner could be able to use it. So we made our um, software so that it was easily implementable, cheap, and fast. That every establishment that owns a barcode scanner can easily implement Q Register by just owning a touch screen. Uh, we also believe that our customers will have an easy time adapting to QR register since we have chosen to use QR codes uh, and QR codes have been really popular and uh, used in the last year due to COVID. So we can say in general that our target in the far future is any person who uses a smartphone or any establishment who uses receipts at any parts of their sales process. But for now, our main target will be young adults that are between the ages of 18 and 25 that are actually environmentally conscious. So we, for that reason, we believe that choosing our test area as our campus was a good choice in order to test this strategy. 
Yes, and about the technical features, our eventual aim is to be one of the top POS systems in the market. And right now, QRegister solely focuses on receipt information. So adding diversified payment methods is one of our priorities. And secondly, QRegister has automatic inventory control that helps the retailers immensely. This is a unique feature as the usual checkout systems are not in touch with the inventory. This will ease the workload of the retailers. And thirdly, uh, we are thinking about implementing an object detection instead of scanning barcodes for faster checkout because faster checkout equals a better shopping experience and happier customers. And also we have some hashing systems uh, to provide a secure uh, purchase at QRegister. And lastly, we will have some form of gamification system, which will be a coupon reward system so that the customers will prefer the system and the application and the retailer more often, and they will return to the retailer to receive their rewards so that the small businesses will excel much easily with QRegister. Thank you. Thank you both so much. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, my next question uh, has a little bit to do with uh, you know, the integrity of your database. Now, uh, you mentioned that this can function, your system can function even when it goes offline. And I was just wondering, uh, is there any impact on how the transactions are going to be accounted for, uh, particularly on the retailer side, if there's a loss of connection? Okay, so thank you for the question. So before jumping into data integrity, I would like to say that our project is consists of two main parts. The first one is the mobile application that is for the customers. Uh, usage and the second one is the Raspberry Pi and the touch screen that we use for the retailers. So as we mentioned in the question, we added an offline mode for people who have problems with their internet connection during the shopping. For data integrity, we know that the retailer side has a stable internet connection. So while we are generating receipts and converting them into QR codes, we actually send our data to the to our servers to uh, cloud and especially we use uh, Firebase Firestore. Therefore, loss of connectivity on the consumer side does not constitute a problem on the retailer's part. Also, uh, about the data integrity uh, on the mobile application of ours, uh, although we display all the information uh, about the receipt, uh, we store only the necessary receipt information and the local storage. Uh, like a receipt ID, because as Dennis already mentioned before, at that time, only the register sites, uh, on the register site, the receipt has already been uploaded to Firebase Firestore. Afterwards, we just match the receipt with the user when they're back online. Our only request from our customers is that just do not delete the app before going back online, because that is like the electronic equivalence of throwing a receipt away. Uh, yet, even if that happens, the retailers are in no way affected because their data is automatically just backed up anyway. Great, thank you. Thanks. Uh, and now we're going to pull in an audience question. Um, so Dan has a question. Why use Q register instead of the email receipts most merchants currently offer? Uh, we can say that people nowadays are using uh, mobile phones quite often and not everyone uses emails. And QRegister's initial aim was to actually make it that everyone could be able to use it and at any time. For example, if you go to a market, you can't really ask them to give you an email receipt and that would not be really practical at any moment. But if you have uh, it in your mobile phone, you can just scan it and have it is seen right away and it also has the advantage of being able to work offline uh, so that even if you do not have an internet connection you can just scan it and it will come to your mobile app i also want to add on to that because q register not only uh, works as a receipt system it also gives you a way to organize and uh, help you with your purchases for example, uh, when you are using email receipts, most of them get lost behind your usual day-to-day -day receipts. And we want to uh, put a stop on that. And we keep all your receipts uh, organized in our application so that you can quickly search through all of your market, um, 
inventory searches, all of them are stored in our uh, application. So it's much easier to find what you are looking for. And we also offer some uh, machine learning al uh, algorithms in the future so that uh, customers will uh, be able to analyze their spending habits too. Nice. That's great. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so much. And Sammy, did you have any final final comments? Oh, I, I, I love this idea. Uh, you know, honestly, bring Q Register to Singapore. I'll be the first one to sign up. Uh, the one bit of advice uh, that I recommend is, is keep in mind both sides of uh, the, the users you have on your platform, right? You've got your consumers and you've got your retailers and you want to make sure that they, they're both engaged, whether it's a you know, loyalty program or insights on their consumer uh, behavior uh, so that as you continue to flesh out your, your products and the different features, uh, they'll, they'll stay loyal and, and be retained. But congrats on all the progress so far. Very exciting. Yeah, great work. Thanks so much for being here. Bye, everyone. Thank you for having Bye. us.